Okay guys, so here's the second video of the pre-franchise analysis of potential teams that I'll do a franchise mode series on. Right here is the Padres open, well, projected opening day lineup depth chart. So, let's take a look at it real quick. Alright, so, yeah, here's the San Diego Padres. Um, this is a team that's definitely in a rebuilding process. I mean, they narrowly missed the playoffs two years ago, and, you know, the last year they fell apart because... They lost a lot of their bullpen, and losing Adrian Gonzalez is not an easy thing to um, recover from. Maybe they should have done, you know, Moneyball style and <laughs> re rebuild Adrian Gonzalez in their outfield. I don't know. I'm just kidding. But um, the major moves of this off season, off, in the offseason that they've made is that they traded away Matt Latos, which is kind of surprising. And they, uh, with him, they traded young first base prospect Anthony Rizzo. They traded them to the, uh, the to the Reds for Edison Volquez, and I think they got a few prospects out of it. I think they might have got an outfielder. I don't know. And uh, they also added uh, from the White Sox, Carlos Quinton. So when we look at the Padres of the team, they're pretty much a patchwork team, and they're pretty much a team that's mixed with a lot of long time. Well, about half half of them are long time veterans that are they've been there for a while, and they're mixed with some very very young players. Uh, third base, the catcher spot, the shortstop, and part of the outfield. They've been uh, they've been there for at least probably more than five or six years. And then you have a lot of there are a few spots in the roster, especially the pitching, that are very young, especially first base. The outfield looks like it's going to be anchored by uh, Carlos Quinn alongside the very lightning fast Cameron Mabin. He has phenomenal speed. Will Venable, uh, I've, I've watched him for a few years. He's he's a decent player, it seems. Uh, the outfield, I'm expecting that it should be pretty solid. I mean, it shouldn't have you know, a whole bunch of errors. They should be a pretty good defensive unit out there. And, uh, I mean, Carlos Quinch and uh, Cameron Maven, they should provide some offense. I know Quinn's a decent power hitter. I don't, I don't really know much about Quinn, though. Even though he is in my, from my division, I mean, I'm an Indians fan, and I should know about him, but I don't. And Cameron Mabin, I mean, if he gets on the base, he's probably gonna be looking to steal. So, yeah, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look at that. Um, the infield. Infield has some decent parts to it, and this starts off with Jason Bartlett and uh, Chase Headley, and the longtime Orlando Hudson. First base appears to be the big question, though, because. If you look at this roster right here, uh, tell me if you know any of those guys. I mean, I don't know where I've heard Jesus Guzman from. That's that the second player on the depth chart. That's his name. But I have heard of him before. Oh, I remember him now. He's from the uh, Nationals, I think. Yeah, he's from the Nationals. I remember when I did their franchise last year. He was on that team. But, yeah, other than that, there isn't really anyone on the first base uh, that can really be a pretty good player, I think. I mean... They're all pretty young, but none of them are really good prospects, I believe, because they only had one really good prospect, and they traded him away with Matt Leto. So I really, don't, I really don't agree with that trade either, but well, I don't know why they really did it. So, yes, you know, first base will be the big question. Maybe I can trade someone away for first base. Maybe I can sign a first base. I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, we'll work with what we have. Their catching spot has been run by Nick Hundley for a while now, and that should be pretty solid as well. The the look at, the first look at the starting rotation it does show some potential. You got Edison Volquez, who's uh, he should be the star of this rotation. I mean, I don't think he'll be a necessarily a big star in you know like the league, but should be a pretty good fit for this rotation. He'll be the uh, the ace of it, alongside with uh, decent Tim Stoffer and Clayton Richard. But the next two spots are up for grabs, and I don't know if. Uh, I don't know if those guys that are on the roster or they're on the pitching rotation right now, if they'll still be there in, in the uh, begin or when the season starts. I know Dustin. Uh, I can't read that. I don't know. It's kind of blurred out right there. Wait, no. Here I have it. Uh, no, I don't have it. Never mind. <laughs> I'm so messed up right now. But uh, yeah, the Dustin, whatever his name is, uh, he's he might be able to sneak in there. I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, I could use those two spots to get some uh, playing time for my uh, minor league AAA people and see what I can do with them. So, you know, maybe they'll get some early experience. The bullpen, which has been probably one of the best bullpens for the last few years, is going to be a little tedious this year. Uh, Houston Street is their new closer. He's going to take over for Heath Bell. Um, and a lot of other pitchers, when I was looking at through them, they look to be really new this year. 
the team's definitely gonna miss Heath Bell and Mike Adams. You know, they they well no, they didn't trade away Heath Bell, but they traded Mike Adams. But we'll see if we can find any kind of pitcher that can plug in any holes in the in the bullpen. If anyone starts doing bad, I'll see if I can just get rid of them for I don't know any anyone. I mean, just any kind of help would be nice. Or if we can just bring up any minor league or any minor league starting pitchers could help out in the bullpen. So. Uh, the Padres, they look to be a decent team, and I'm, I'm kind of eager to find out if they'll be able to make the playoffs with me in the first season. Uh, I'm not sure if they'll be able to do it, but I think they will be able to do it, but I think they're at least three to four years away with me from, you know, maybe contending for the NL West title, maybe even NLCS, I don't know. But the NL West, or <laughs> NL West, NL West is, uh, it looks a bit weak because the Giants are kind of iffy. They're kind of iffy with their run scoring. They're very sporadic, and they did lose Cody Ross. And the Diamondbacks, uh, who knows if they'll be able to make another run this year. I mean, maybe last year was just kind of a fluke because everyone else didn't, too, didn't do too well. But we'll see. I'm really eager to uh, see my prospects in the minor leagues develop into an everyday playing role soon. I mean, there should be a lot of young guys from the various trades that the Padres have made as of recently. You know, they traded away Matt Latos and uh, Mike Adams. You know, they should have gotten some decent people in the minor league. So, um, I'm also hoping that I can trade away maybe Orlando Hudson because he's pretty old. I don't know if I can get anyone good for him, but any kind of decent player or, uh, well, if I can trade away Orlando Hudson for any decent player, if I'm able to stockpile for any prospects in my farm system, that'd be great. But as for the off season, we'll see if we have any, if we have enough money to go after any type of a good player. I'm not sure if there's going to be enough money to get a star in free agency. I don't know when Josh Hamilton hits the free agent market, but uh, that's not that's not even funny to think about because he's going to be worth like $20 million. I'm sure they don't have that. So um, I'm just going to hope that my bullpen will hold up until, until then, and that's the Padres. So that's the overlook of the Padres, and I'll be doing the next team very soon.